Well, you guys. So, the energy that pulled out in this reading, and I went through. I pulled out. I always missed it, so I guess you all. I made a hundred new cards. I made them yesterday. And I don't know if I did a video with them yet or not. This might. I think I did. I don't know if I posted it yet. But anyway, what I was going to say is. A Taurus pulled out, and a Sagittarius, and a Scorpio, and it said uh, Virgo was analyzing your perfections at the moment. Uh, but anyways, let me show y'all what I pulled out. So if you're a Taurus or a Sagittarius or Scorpio, you might find a message in here. And I hope I can just help you guys, and I appreciate y'all very much, and welcome to my channel, Pamela Star or Pam Star Oracle. Uh, Sorry, I said Pamela. That's my real name. <laughs> but anyways, um, thank y'all for all your all's uh, support. And to my loyal subscribers, all you guys, I thank you. And I hope I can give us something here today. So, if it doesn't resonate, throw it out the window. Don't pay no mind, you guys, okay? But somebody might be throwing nails so you get flats out here. I don't know you all, but keep that in mind, because... Something told me to write it, and so I wrote it down one day, and it says, this is a quote that I made, and we'll see if anybody else says it, okay? It says, now let's get to it like the big boys do it. Oh, that's a quote by me, Pamela. I'm putting that out in Virgo season. Now, did you hear that? That's for the Virgo quote. I'll start saying that. Let's get to it like the big boys do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll say that at the first of the videos. Okay, now look, something about money exchange. Somebody did a money exchange. It could have been this Taurus or Sagittarius or Scorpio or Virgo. Maybe they was in cahoots. And it says Virgo is analyzing your perfections at the moment. Um, he likes how you do things. He thinks that you're perfect. Um, and then on this side it says... It says, Athena... The God, the goddess of love. So maybe you're, maybe you're Athena, whoever's watching me, and you're the goddess of love. And it says you're all two American gods doing the best they can. <laughs> you remember that uh, song, Little Diddy, about Jack and Diane? Two American kids doing the best they can. See, I thought of that. Did y'all like how I did that? Two American gods doing the best they can. That's what you all are doing right now. And maybe, uh, Divine Feminine, you are Athena, the goddess of love. And Divine Masculine knows this now. He knows who you are. Oh, and then Divine Masculine wants you to put on something nice and go on a romantic date with you. Whoever y'all are out here listening, Divine Masculine wants to do that to you. Oh, it said it now. Oh, on the other side of town. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 that's where, not around here, around another town. Wherever y'all's town is, he wants to go the opposite. <laughs> oh, and it said... It said, and look, we got ain't Taurus Empress energy, Emperor, Emperor, and Empress energy, and Sagittarius is the house of faith, and then Scorpio is endings. Okay, somebody might be investigating you at the moment. Somebody that's listening to me, somebody, somebody might be under investigation. I don't know, but I know one thing. People knows that you're an oracle of wisdom, and I was like, wow, here come this card for you, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, or Virgos, or your all's partners, whoever's here watching this video, but somebody sees you as an oracle of wisdom, and they're like, wow, that girl sure has, or that guy has such a lot of wisdom and smarts, and I think that they are courageous enough to go after and show us what these stars and things mean. See the stars up there? You're teaching about, you know, way long ago teachings um and that looks like that uh in greece see it looks like a greek see the columns so maybe you had uh you got greek look you do look oh spirit i just now saw that thank you spirit because i was gone all day you all and i pulled this out last night so last night was what is today friday last night was thursday because i had somewhere to go all day and I, I, I always do on Fridays once a month, but anyways, uh, 
I, I just now noticed that, you guys. I really did. I just now noticed. So, you got that. You Somebody that's listening to me, you got that uh, in your lineage. You're Athena. You're a goddess. See, goddess. See, goddess. Yeah. Maybe you got a Taurus in your birth chart if you're not a Taurus, you know. But anyway, you're observing people's auras at the moment. You're like, you, you can tell if uh, this person... You can, you're sensing what people's true intentions is and feelings, you know. You can do that with, with auras. Uh, you can sense their energy, you know what I mean? And you can feel if it's, if it's good or shady, you know what I mean? I've always been pretty good like that. But now when I was younger, I would just take everything like, what do you call it, on a wing and prior. I, I believed in everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what, now that I've got older, uh, you know, I've, I've gained a lot of wisdom. Uh, let's see. Oh, and you'll never guess what come out, you guys. Wait till you see, wait till you see. I'm going to put this like this. I left it how it was. I'm going to lay it right here. So, it's saying that you're re-energizing your life at the moment. You're, uh, you're clearing... A positive space out in I guess in your mind at the moment and you're, you're feeling like everything is how it's supposed to be you feel harmony and um, I remember watching this on the on history channel this I can't remember the name of this thing I wish I'd have looked that up you all because my iPads did but some I can't remember, but this is something that stands out and protects these uh, creatures. And I think they're like cat-like. They're another kind of creature too. They're like two different animals. I can't remember. That that just looks like a a cat with a I don't know what kind of head it is, you guys. But you I can't remember how what that name is, but that's what it is. And on that card that's what that meaning is oh and then it said this it said honor the deities around you you better be glad for all these spirits helping you around that's what's telling you your prayers and offerings and help is right there and you say thank you deities for uh helping me in my spiritual practice i i greatly appreciate you and i thank you for all this knowledge wisdom and knowledge that you've been given to me and uh Who is this woman's name? Hang on. Uh, it seemed like. If I can't find it. But I do. I remember reading about it. But I can't remember what her name was. I seem like it started with an H. Uh, seem like it started with an H. But I don't know where my book is on that. You all. i got to figure out. And that'll take a while. I need to study up on that and tell you because I know her name. It's on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it right now. Um, I'll just watch. I watched some about it and read that book about it, but I don't know where I put my book at for that. Yeah, sorry, you guys. But, anyways, they used to pray to the cow goddess, and I just can't think of her name right now, you guys, and that's what I was getting at. And, and, uh, she's got a name, and and if you see right here, she's part of Horus. Cause see it, see the uh, the hawk. Don't that what it look like? Kindly like a hawk laid out on her head too. But uh, maybe you got a lot of hawks coming around your house. That's just meaning spirits around you, and and you've been patiently waiting. And spirit said it's all coming together like geomancy. It's like little puzzle pieces all fitting together. We're giving you every little piece of knowledge that we can at the moment. That's what it's saying, okay? Because you sit patiently waiting in the vine. You, you're, you're somebody that believes in that, like me, okay? Hang on, I was trying to leave it like this. Okay, so this is about your home at the moment. So maybe you're tending to your home life at the moment and you're getting things in order and i see a clock right here on the side of this tree house right here and it's you're just you're just living life you you love being home you know and 
and you might be wanting to uh somebody out here is wanting to venture off into the unknown or maybe you're you're just letting spirit get guide you blindly see you're letting spirit guide you by faith see how that she's got a mask on walk around so um uh, uh and you're doing this wide open you're just being free at the moment and maybe voicing your opinion and going after your goals and dreams whatever that may be you're just you're just wide open at it at the moment and you was stuck in the mud at a time and look what it says below it you was stuck in the mud uh worrying about this old twin flame somebody out here was you know your soul partner this eternal connection and maybe you and him felt stuck and you and him needed to get out and go to the other side of town today and maybe that's what you did and maybe that's what you did oh wow and that's what i did oh and it said but you were stuck in the mud you twin flames and you was coming apart you all had to let go of each other maybe for a while to find what your all's truths was maybe but it says coming apart and then it says you coming together did you see that you 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 had to break apart just to come back together and you got and you had the strength to do this and that's why you're seeing all these double fours or maybe you're seeing four four eight a lot and i do and or maybe maybe you're seeing 844 you know it just depends and 1133 look at angel number up but you've had the strength to overcome all these ch challenges you know and you're just coming out to the world you got the world in your hands you've had the strength to come back together with this twin maybe they tried to knock you off your path like they did me and my old man and that's how it's always been you guys it, it's all right it's all right because we're still together did you hear me oh all right here it says uh anticipation and it said i felt like an arrow pulled back and ready to be launched into something big did you hear that that's what you've been feeling like now in our sagittarius imagine that imagine sagittarius come out the spirit loves me so i can tell y'all pay attention it said i felt like an arrow pulled back and ready to be launched into something big you knew you was a part of something big you and your twin and and I always did know it. And this is about affection and determination. Morning glories. The morning glory which blooms for a day differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. So, you you know, um, you're blooming today. You're, you're showing people, you know, and, and you, you and your partner can show each other affection and devotion. And you're all determined. And then we got Lily right here. And this is about majesty and virtue. And Lily is the emblem is the emblem rare of many virtues, good and rare. And that's by unknown. I always thought lilies was beautiful flowers. And then we got red rose, and it says hidden secrets. Three things cannot be long hidden: the sun, the moon, and the truth. And buddy, that's true. And a lot of truths come out over here, but it's all right, you guys, because. I want to let y'all know that old energy that you're all uh, seeing. That's all old energy. It, that's not old, that's not energy that I'm in anymore. I can talk about these things. I want you to know that. Yeah, I'm an oracle of wisdom. That's why I named my channel Pound Star Oracle. Cause yeah, I can do that. Me and my old man, we both can sit and talk to y'all about things. But he's in a job right now and he can't get out of it at the moment. Okay. All right, and then over here it says. It says you're getting ready to receive some unexpected money. Oh, uh, the angels bless you with this. There, and listen, what I found a while ago, you guys. Listen, ah, when I just got back today, me and my old man, I had taken the doctor y'all, and when we got back. You know what I found? Yes, yes. I come in my bedroom, and there was this old coin. This this little old coin, and it said three pence. P e n. CE, that's what it said. And if you know what three pence is, you can let me know. But I guess it's three cents. But it said 1926. And I told my husband, I said, that's one of our papa was letting us know something that when one of them was born, maybe. I don't know. I just put it out here. I think so. But I, it was laying in my carpet in my bedroom, you all. And I was like, was well, somebody in our money jars? Huh. They could have been while we was gone. You never know, you guys. 
but you've come a long way on this journey. I guess I, guess I would know, though. Yeah, I know the people's in here. Oh, you come a long way on your journey, and I don't think there was. I just think that it fell out in our one day. Uh, military person, and my vacuum cleaner didn't pick it up. Military person is watching you. He, he said, you've come a long way now, woman. He's seen it now. Or man that's listening. He's telling you all this. And, and, uh, he knows that this could be a court person, this military man, because he'd come right underneath. Military person is a court person. Are you listening? So maybe, maybe this mil this this military person that's a court person is bringing it to you, a cop, maybe. And and uh, for you getting over all these obstacles and barriers and challenges, and, and they're going to let you know they're sorry about the delay. That's what it said. They're sorry about the delay. So you better be listening. Somebody's getting it. Oh, and then we got journey again. So we got a long way on your journey twice. You could be going on a journey on a ship. You might be getting ready to go on a cruise, you and uh, your person. Oh, wow, you and Divine Masculine going? Oh, you might. You never know. Oh, and it said the clouds. But look, here's more delays. That's what this is, too. But they might be a delay or a dilemma pop up in your life, a problem. There'll be, there's getting ready to be a problem, a problem with your four-leaf lucky clover ass on your journey. They're like, hey, now. Hey now, lucky lady, you can't go on that trip right now. No, no, I don't know, but I'm just seeing it as, oh God, you're lucky in your work occupation. And I pulled this out last night, you all. I flipped it all out, and I said, thank you, Spirit, I love you. And I, and I love my subscribers that's helping me, and I appreciate you all. And, and this is what you're all getting to that's watching me. It's coming to you soon as you believe it every day. Y'all got to believe it now, isn't it? But you might be getting a reward or an opportunity, okay? Uh, you're getting an opportunity maybe in a new occupation. But, you know, this could be that you're, you're lucky, getting some lucky money, too, in your work. It could be like somebody had stole money from you and, and the law's going to get back to you. That's the way I'm going to read it. Oh, well, law, well, ain't that nice. Well, And then I'll go this out. <coughs> I'm going to hurry up, y'all. It said, you see, most people on earth don't know how to heal issues that are in, on insides of ourselves. We don't. We don't. And we got we to gotta learn that. And that's what I'm trying to teach y'all. We do have to learn this, you all. And somebody loves you to the moon and back. And they've always loved you. And you know who it is, don't you? It's you down to buy my ass money. And it's a world go. That's who it is. I'm reading it as that now. Because, I mean, hey. I know who mine is. Did you guys? Huh? Do you all? Oh, it said, Divine Mike wants to ride you rough, Divine Feeling, and he wants to put his hands in every little nook and cranny and say, Oh, God, baby, I missed you. Come on, let's roll around on the bed. That's what he said. <laughs> and he said, You gotta wake up at the crack of dawn in order to get the life that you adore. Put one foot in front of the other. And you get your ass out on those streets a run, and you do this daily, and one day you will be a success and boss up totally. Now, that's what it means, you all. And see, it's true. It's true. And they're talking about you because people ain't got nothing better to do other than talk, talk. They're talking about that. You adore this new job and, and divine masculine, and they're talking about how he loves you to the moon and back and how you're trying to heal. Well, that's good. I, talk, I want y'all to talk good like that, not bad. You know, because I'm not talking bad to any of you all over here. I just tell you things in my life, and I don't want y'all to take it real, real personal, you guys. you got to remember this energy that I wrote on these cards was old. Are y'all listening? That means that I done did heal from that before. I, you know, you have to, and sometimes I might still get mad when it pulls out me, but I don't want y'all to get like that because I'm the one doing the energy reading. I don't want y'all to get like that, you guys. And you need to use pink salt. Every day, Himalaya, and put it with your on your wash rag with your soap. Put it on her. And then none of this energy can get to you all like I do. It don't bother me, you all. I can read cards, okay? And somebody wants to challenge you, but you, they don't understand that you're going to come out on top as a winner because your purpose is greater and higher. So whoever's listening to me, y'all got a higher and greater purpose. You got to figure out what it is, you all. And, uh, and you could be a laid-back 
easygoing person. You just like being calm and showing others that by being calm, you can live in harmony with your partner. See, I love you, Spirit, and I can. Me and my old man lives in harmony, and we just don't let old shit that we did to each other bother us anymore, and that's all y'all gotta do, you know? Admit things that you did to each other and move the hell on. And I think you're all both going through a spiritual awakening right now because y'all been getting headaches, and that's how you know. That's how you know, and you're all moving up 2020, and maybe in 2020 y'all started your journey. <laughs> maybe y'all did, but you're all feeling connected with others, and you, and you have an overwhelming appreciation. That's how you know. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and I thank you very much, and I, I thank you, Spirit, just for me having water and some food every day and i thank you especially for my family and my children and my grandchild i love them more than anything and i just trying to be better for everybody and and a uh, somebody out here that uh it might be paid somebody to do magic on you and divine last one that's what it says on you divine feminine and divine last one and uh and maybe spirit warned you to and steered you away from a whole guy for good. Oh, he did. And ain't it good? Ain't, ain't that good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate what you got, people. And when you're going through menopause, you'll have some stupid things that'll flip around in your damn stupid mind for us women. I ain't gonna lie. We all do. We'll feel that sometimes. And, you know, you just gotta remember the reality that you live in and appreciate what you got. And I do. Did you hear that? Oh, I hope that helps somebody today. Because it's the truth. You know what? Oh, in the cave right here. This is about the dark, of the portal, the interior. This is about the sacred center within, and you going inside that damn dark side of yourself, like each and every one of us has a dark side. You know, that dark side's when you get mad, won't cuss out people, and act crazy and stupid, and do drugs, and hide from your emotions, and act out of fear, and I'll hurt you, you know. You hurt me with what you said, so I'm gonna hurt you. And I don't, I'm not hurting anybody out here. I'm telling you right now, I love, I love y'all, and I'm trying to tell you from things that I went through, and I want you to look at it like that. That I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. I don't, I don't, I don't do witchcraft. I sit here and I read cards to y'all. I make cards. That's that's all I do every day. That's what I do. Uh, but anyway, um, this is talking about uh, you somebody in your hometown and family tribe uh sometimes somebody in your hometown and family tribe is hiding they gossiping about you they're gossiping and uh and uh you're a remover of darkness you you let me tell what's happened to you and that's why they're pissed and gossiping because you're a visionary, you're ageless, you're a seeker, a light worker, a dreamer, you know, and and uh, somebody was expecting you to seek attention and and recognize them, somebody in your family, that's what it is, and, they, and uh, they might be wanting you to recognize that they, they have an illness and they might be passing, and I'm sorry you all if somebody out here is. You, or you could have already did lose somebody and you're in the grieving and mourning process and I'm sorry if you're mourning you all right now and you've lost somebody because I've had to, I've lost a lot of people in my life that was special to me you watch my videos and you know and you know and uh, you just you it I can't tell y'all how long that process is I, I can't because when my stepson when he committed suicide you all it, it took me it took me close to 10 years to to try not think about it so much. Are y'all listening? But you can't never stop thinking about it. That's the problem. Uh, but, um, and I don't want nobody to hurt yourself. I never did. I've always tried to help my family. <coughs> I've done a lot of dumb shit that I shouldn't have did, and I've learned my lessons from that, and I've grown from that, and I don't care what anybody says, I know. And this is about a great awakening happening at the moment, and everybody on Earth is understanding this great awakening, and there's more people that's coming to Taro, and yeah, we know that. They're all having an aha moment, but but they might be somebody trying to deceive you around and want to trick you now. They want to question you. They want to question you because they see you as mysterious. And, and it's, this, it's this joker clown fool. It's this joker clown fool. And I got this from the book. I'm not making fun of any damn body. I wrote what the card said, and I'll tell you what it means. I'm telling you. And 
And you're somebody who's hilarious and ingenuous and spirited and easygoing. And maybe see, somebody sees you as a joker clown fool. And I know, I can tell you, I, I was that. I've always been that. <laughs> you know, and some kind of sarcastic, yeah. I can be very sarcastic if somebody's mean to me. Or I feel that old energy that I had to go through. Yeah, I'll get sarcastic. I mean, wouldn't you all think about it? And you got to learn how to calm that down. And I, I can I can say right now, I can calm I can calm a situation down now. I know, too. I know how. And uh, I'm somebody who is clairvoyant. And, ha and I do have psychic uh, capabilities. Yes, I do. I do. And, and I use my intuition. And I'm wise. And... You know, I, I'm an old woman, I guess. People call me, I don't really care. My old man's always called me old woman, you know. I call him old man. I got, he calls me old woman. Well, that's just that's just a thing for the South. That's what people do, you know what I mean? Uh, somebody could say that you're a witch, and uh, you're a bitter, isolated old witch and bitch, and we don't care. They ain't say whatever they want to, and I'm not bitter. I don't. Uh, if I was sitting down here in hermit mode, it's because Spirit told me to set my ice down and do his practice and tell things that's happened to me. And that's what I did, you all. I'm telling you all. If Spirit's will uh, help you. Yeah. you got to pray a lot, though. Yeah. Yeah. You do. You do. And I hope this helps you all out here today, you guys. Just remember that somebody wanted to give you some flats today. And, uh... Because they know that you're, you and your partner is American gods, and they're understanding it. And um, uh, there was a money exchange went on. Who knows what it was about? I don't know. Maybe somebody paid some man to come towards you. You don't never know how people is. You all. I don't know. You just got to take it as it is. You know, there something in here. Just recognize the deities around you that's helping you. And that's, that's what I'm recognizing it. And I thank you guys, and I hope this helps somebody today, and I'm going to get off here and clear this energy and do another reading. See you in a minute. Thank y'all for all your help. I appreciate it.